Hi folks, so I'm going to show you a fault on a board that I've got in at the moment, which is an issue 7, and it is showing this fault in mode 7, where you have basically odd characters turning up. And if I go to mode 0, you do get some extra artefacting on there, but the text looks okay. You can see there is something not quite right there. So if we go back to here, so if we look on the characters here, what we're going to do is try and figure out which data line it is. So first off, we can see BBC Co-Puter. So that should be a C. So the K should be a C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, not mode six, mode zero. So if I do ASCK, that tells me what the ASCII for the K is, and then I'm doing ASCC, that gives me 67. So that's the difference in what it should be. If I then do 75 minus 67, I get eight, which is a nice round figure in binary. Eight is D3, so you've got naught, one, two, three, so one, two, four, eight. So naught, one, two, three is D3. So if we look on the schematic here, Excuse the flickering, that's just my fluorescent light doing it. The upper bank is CAS1, which is there. My phone won't focus that far in. But if we look at the CAS1 chip for D3, it is here, IC56. So we find IC56 on the board, and it's this one at the far end here. So what we're going to do is turn the machine off. I'm going to piggy some RAMs, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two together, because if we use two together, that increases the chance that it's going to be able to correct the bad output, because the two RAMs are better than one, and they can then fight the bad RAM. So I'm just going to pick it, two RAMs on top of each other, basically, for that. We turn that on, and it's now looking correct. So we now know that that IC56 is faulty, and I'll get that changed out. So that's how to diagnose one of these RAM faults. Admittedly, that one was quite easy because it was in the top bank. If it's in the bottom bank, you'd then need to use a video inverter, either one of mine, or you could build your own onto this one here, S25, just to swap the banks around so you can then visually see what RAM chip is actually causing the problem. Okay. There we go. Hope that helps. Cheers.